secrets, spans the evil genius with your lab secrets tip of the day. Hey, if you're a user of Basecamp or HiRise, the products by 37 Signals, if you're a fan of using Evernote for keeping notes on things you've come across in the internet, you definitely going to want to stay tuned for this particular preview. We're happy to announce today uh, the release of our latest quick launch product bundle, which is called P2. And it's based upon the theme that changed Matt Mullenweg's business over at Automatic, the founder of WordPress. Basically, what's unique about this is P2 is a theme that allows you to either collaborate with other people on your team, or in this case, with this sort of specially souped up version, we've made it possible for you to have a private intranet, a private file uploading and sharing center, a way for you to keep track of things that you encounter on the internet that you want to save, whether you be on your mobile device or on your desktop. And it's also a great way for you to assign tasks, because we've actually added into this whole mix a great to-do manager. So let me go over a couple of the details. I want to show you how we've set this up and then show you, as always, how you can get started with this in under three minutes or less, guaranteed, ready to launch on your site with Quick Launch. Okay? So I've set up a demo site here. And the key features basically are twofold. First of all, it's the main P2 theme with our special modifications on it. And then there's the to-do list side, which can be used individually or can be used as a team collaboration effort where you can assign tasks to other people, they can assign them to you, etc. Now, the whole thing is set up with an extra layer of security. We've made it that if you're not logged into this, let me show you, you can't get in. You're, you're not even going to be able to get to the front end if that's the way you want to do it. Because the idea is you want to make it so that this is a private setup for you to share your details with only those that you want. Now, I'm going to log in. And, of course, with all of our quick launch products, the defaults are your name and your password. So whenever you use this, you want to change that right after you've set it up. But now that I've logged in, I get access to the dashboard. And again, you can have one or multiple people. Now, on the front side, you can have four ways to publish. And it's really simple, just like with the regular WordPress blog, but maybe souped up. You've got your status updates, which are, hey, I'm doing something. Something is my tag. And although you can't see it here, this has got Ajax. So did you see how that just refreshed? Imagine that you and your other team members are working together. If they keep this open on the side of their screen, Every time somebody updates, they're going to get that nice little flash, the flash of whatever color background we've got set for you or you change. And that lets them know, hey, there's actually live action going on. And, of course, they can see it. And the next part of how you can post is with the traditional blog post. And that adds another field on for a title. So, you know, this is a blog post, something, something. And, by the way, all the other features that you'd want are available, including the ability to upload and insert some media, right? So in this case, if I wanted to, I could drag in an image file, a PDF, an Excel file. Anything I wanted to could be saved and added as an attachment to this post. Super easy. And it's available then in the media library for everybody to share. You can also tag it, of course. We've got quotes. Now, quotes are useful in for not always, but in the case of, let's say, for example, you want to actually do some reference checking. Maybe you're a law firm. Maybe you're somebody that's doing research on a book, right? So we go to the quote, and you could say, life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans. That's John Lennon. Quotes. I think actually it was in a solo career, but you get my idea. Post it, and it gives it a nice little format here with a little background and, of course, the attribution to John Lennon. And then, of course, links, which is a really powerful one. I use this one myself mostly. You know how you're on your iPad, your iPhone, your desktop, and you're reading an, a tremendously useful article, and you just have to share it? Well, one way to do that is you can just grab the URL and post it in here. So, for example, let's say I'm browsing my favorite website, which happens to be LabZip, and I go, aha, I want to save this. So I just grab the URL. And again, there's a faster way to do this. I'm going to show you in a second. But if I post that URL in here and I say labzip or tag, post it, gives that a nice, unique background as well. So watch this. You can see this has a blue background. And what's nice about all this is that whatever method you use to post, you can use our high-powered search. We've added in Relevancy, which is a high powered search tool that actually indexes every single term on your site. So watch this. I'm looking for John Lennon. I type in Lennon. If I'm looking for even a small word like at. Now, did you see this? 
for actual words outside of the names of authors and things, you actually have a highlight color. So, for example, I could look for something, lab zip maybe. And every place in the site that I've used or another member has used that term, it's going to show up and highlight it. This is really powerful stuff, folks, because even on Basecamp or even on High Rise, they don't have the ability for you to customize to this granular level what kind of search power you have. And I'm going to show you in the back end in a second how this actually works in more detail. But I use this so much on Lab Zip and Lab Secrets. In fact, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm actually going to take you over and show you my version. Now, one of the things I do is a lot of reading every day. And this is the part that I'm really excited to show you because I use iPad most of the time when I'm not in my regular work day. And I'll come across a great article or a great function. Now, we've added in a feature for those of you who are coders to be able to see functions and other kind of code separately from the text. And that's what I do here. So you can see, for example, when I do a search for function, I come up with all kinds of great stuff. And not only is the word highlighted, but all the relevant data that I've stored while doing my research on the iPad is there. But there's two things I want to show you about that. Number one, let's talk about code. We put in a feature here that allows you to go ahead and if I go back to the home page, I'm going to add in some code. Now, I can do this in a blog uh, post or in a status update. Let's say I do a blog post. Some important code, right? Here's what you do. You simply add a block at the top and the block at the bottom. It says code and slash code. And you put in some code stuff here. When you do that, it's going to set it off and make sure that none of the code tags or other attributes get changed by posting. So it protects it. And then of course, if you add a certain tag to it, that's helpful. The second thing is, remember I just mentioned how I do almost all of my research while I'm on my iPad or my iPhone and things like that. Well, I'm gonna show you a little thing that's built in here and it's native to WordPress, but I bet you've never used it in such a powerful way. When you go in under tools, available tools, you'll see what's called a bookmarklet. And we're going to give you the code to use this as well on your iPhone or iPad, which is something that's not normally possible, but we're going to make it possible. You drag this up to your bookmark uh, toolbar, or in the case of your iPhone or iPad, you're going to save it to your bookmarks. Now watch what happens. Now let's say I've left my desktop and I'm at a coffee shop, or I'm on my iPhone or iPad, or I'm somewhere else in the world, and I want to do a little research. So again, let's say I come back to this page, and I see, hmm, here's an article I'm interested in. All I do now is click the press this button and it remotely gives me the ability to publish that. As a standard setup, I can choose the category, the tags, all the normal publishing tools are right there. When I click publish, close the window and now I go back later and refresh the page and watch what happens. There it is. And I'm telling you folks, this is how I do this every day. Literally, I read dozens and dozens, sometimes more of articles. And I used to email it to myself. I used to do basically what Evernote does. But instead of paying the money for this, you can now have this done in a way that's not only economical because it costs you nothing but your hosting costs, but you can do it in a way that now your team gets all the stuff they need right where they need it instead of having to go back to a third-party service. And the other thing is price. I mean, Evernote is economical. It's only five bucks a month, let's be honest, for the premium. But that's just a limit on how much you can do. There's, I think a limit of a gigabyte or more on this account. And, you know, it's just another thing you need to deal with. Basecamp is 20 bucks a month. High rise is kind of expensive. It's got a lot of features, but I bet you not use them all. And even at the base level of a solo plan, it's five gigabytes, one person, and 29 bucks a month. That's $348 a year. And you know what? I used to use it. And I could do everything I did with those three tools here and more and in a better way because of the ability, again, to save my media, to share documents. And let's talk last about organization before I launch this for you. We've got our infinite wealth of other widgets and accessories that go along with this, and I haven't even quickly touched on to-do, but I can look up stuff by what I recently posted, by the search I just showed you, by categories, of course, tags and tags clouds. I can also have an author's box. When people were to comment in my team, the comments would be threaded. I also have keyboard shortcuts. This is really awesome. So when you get used to using these, you can navigate with the keys. Up, down, left, right, make a new post. You don't ever have to use your mouse if you want. Right? So if nothing else, I'm suggesting that if you haven't ever tried this before, this is a really, really cool thing.
last little trick before I go to to-do. Let's say I'm really into video. My team needs video. Well, this has O embed. So O embed is the actual uh, methodology where when you're using participating video hosting sites like YouTube and Vimeo and Blip and the others, you don't have to actually grab embed code. So let's say I have a really important video that I came across that I want to share. Maybe something about base jumping. I just grab the actual link to the page. That's the URL, not the embed code, right? So you can get it out of the window at the top or the share button here. Go ahead, just paste that in. I say, must see base jump. Those are my two tags. Post it. Watch what happens. One, two, three. Boom. See, that kind of stuff doesn't happen on the other sites. You got to go through a lot more steps. So now I could build a whole library for my team of relevant stuff. I could tag it. We could have a tutorial library or a training library, anything we want, all in real time. All right. The other feature we've included here is called To Do, and that's basically a very powerful team based to do list or task manager. And it's really simple. Um, if I'm using it for myself, as I do, I just say what date this is due, maybe next Friday. And then I can go ahead and use the same WYSIWYG editor and upload media, whatever I want to do, or just type, you know, this is super important. Go ahead and add it. And what happens is I can see this not only locally as my own to-do list, but I can also see this on my iPhone or iPad. And with one click, my mouse or my thumb, I make it go away. If I ever am lost and want to go back to my list, no problem. I just go back to my list here, and it shows me all the to-do items I have and all the things that I've completed. And again, this could be exported or used in other ways because it's built into your database, controlled by you, not on a third-party server. Really, really good stuff. All right. Let me show you basically how you can get this going in under three minutes or less because I'm pretty sure you're going to want to do this. First of all, you want to go over to labzip.com. And we're offering this for a very special price. We want as many people to use this as possible. So instead of 25 bucks, it's on a special for $4.97. Quite honestly, like all of our quick launch products, we're guaranteeing that you'll be satisfied with this 100% or we'll give you a complete refund, no questions asked. Guarantee though, that this is gonna really do exactly what we're showing you and it will really make you happy. So take five bucks out of your coffee budget. Try it out because it's gonna be three minutes. Ready? Let's try it. You're going to click add to cart you're going to download it you know how all that works with purchasing from our little shop here once you've got that you're going to launch us on your fresh new wordpress site it's important with all our quick launch stuff that it's a new site because remember this is set up and ready to go nothing left to do so if you have old stuff or old data it's going to overwrite it if you don't want that don't use quick launch just use our regular child theme bundle but this is the fast way okay so the first step is we're going to go ahead and log in here and like always, this is going to be your username and password, but I suggest if you're setting it up with Quick Launch, create your name as the username and your password as the password to initially set up. And then you can later on swap in your own admin username and password. So as always, first thing, we're going to upload this to the media library. So we add new. Now I'm dragging this file that I just bought from the LabZip shop into my dashboard here under the file area for new media. Now all I want to do is a grab and copy this, I'm gonna use this in a second. Step two is always go to manage WP. Now you'll notice that we've got a nice little link that I want you to use, uh, this right here. This will send you over to manage WP or you can use the link labzip.com slash manage WP. It's a free trial, but since we're doing a lot of work with manage WP, you're gonna get access to some other promotions and things and it won't cost you more. It'll, in some cases, there'll be a benefit there or a bonus. But either way, go to manage WP you can do up to five sites for free. And there's so many other tools and things that are available, as you've seen in my infinite videos. Manage WP is really going to change your life and how you manage your WordPress stuff. Either way, once you log in with your new account, you'll see a dashboard that looks like this. You're going to click Add Your First Website. And here we're going to add Lab 1138, which is my test bed today. You're going to put the URL of your new WordPress site there. And then you're going to add the new admin username, which in this case, remember, we told you it's going to be your name. If you've set up your blog the same way, you'll put in your name. If not, use whatever admin username you've set up. We're going to add the site now to Manage WP. And next thing is always we have to add the Manage WP Worker plugin, which we just click and install now. 
And then we go on back after we've activated this. We go on back and we want to connect the two. So we click it again and it gives us confirmation that we're connected. So now we can go back to the dashboard. This is where the excitement starts. So now what we're going to do is clone a WordPress site. So we click on install or clone WordPress. We go ahead and we're going to actually put right here under the URL, we're going to paste the link uh, that we just copied from the site. Remember when we just uploaded up the file. We now click on destination of existing site. We want to put in the username of your name. Password is your password. And again, if you've done something different, feel free, but this is what we're recommending to start with. Click on the site Labalum38 here. This will be the name or URL of your site. And now, ready? Here's how it goes. It's a five second click. It's so exciting. Ready? One, two, three, four, five. Done! Every time. I love it. I've never been beaten on this thing. Watch. We go back to that site. We reload it. And now our new blog has got, as we expected, it's now called Lab Dash. And it's now, when we log in, going to be an exact clone of the quick launch site ready to go and I've thrown in a couple little things like a starter post and that starter to do that's it it's ready for you and your company now there's a couple things you can customize I've hidden the title of the page because I like it being compact you could turn that on or off you could customize the colors and the layouts but that kind of stuff is easily covered in our detailed tutorials at the site right now though if you're interested in this I encourage you to drop on over and click on this add to cart button Try it for yourself. If you've never experienced the satisfaction of a quick launch, this is going to be something new for you. And let me know what you think. Drop me a note or call me over at labzip.com, help at labzip.com, or even the phone number, 312-344-3280. This is Spence, the evil genius. We'll see you next time.